My name is David Lillianfeld. I am uh, from Greenwich, Connecticut. I go to Yale University and I'm a double majoring in history and political science. So I applied early to Yale. I had my heart pretty set on it from a couple months in advance. When I started looking at schools, I visited Yale and walking around campus and just speaking, making small talk with people on campus and speaking with various alumni and people who I know who went there, I, I really just got a sense of the, uh, of the character of the school, something that's not easily seen on paper. It, it, I think it's really great to go see the environment and um, get a sense of what type of person um, goes there, what type of character it attracts, and what the school is all about. So I went there, I visited, I fell in love with it, and I had my heart set on it. And thankfully, I worked hard and I, <laughs> I got in early. Sure, so w one of the great ways Yale actually recently introduced this last year to learn about campus is to, um, there's a virtual tour online you can look and they have actual Yale tour guides showing you around on video online. It's not exactly the same as being there, but it's, it's a pretty close second. So I applied early action to Yale. Um, Yale has something called restrictive early action, meaning you can only apply early to Yale but if you get in, it's not binding, meaning you don't have to go there if you get in. But I knew if I got in, I wanted to go there. So I applied. I wasn't allowed to apply any other places due to the nature of the uh, restriction. And um, I got in early. And it really made my life much easier as a, uh, as a senior because second semester, I already knew where I was going. And it alleviated a lot of that stress that a lot of my friends had trying to hear from multiple schools. You know, I had some friends apply to seven, eight, nine universities and they're just going crazy with applications and going crazy with the stress of not hearing back and um, it was wonderful that I kind of got that off my chest early. So I think I guess my advice would be if you really know you want to go to a certain place you really have a sense of the character of the school and the character of the individuals that go there I, I, I would recommend looking into a, an early action or early decision program. So preparation for early action is pretty much identical to preparation for regular admission. It's just done a couple months in advance. So I, um, I, I already, uh, by the early action deadline, which I believe is in November, I could be mistaken though, you need to prepare your application materials by then, have your test scores by then, um, and have your transcript up to then. So it will usually be up to the end of your junior year. So then you apply uh, as you would in regular admission and um, you hear back earlier. So letters of recommendation um, are usually necessary in all college applications, so I needed those as well, um, included with my early application. And I had two interviews actually. Uh, I live very close to campus, so I had one on campus with a senior, and then I had one with an alumnus um, in New York City. It's everything that's included in the common application. So that would include an essay, a statement of purpose, and then uh, Yale and other schools as well have supplements. So they make you fill out some part of their application as well. And they have various questions they ask you, like why do you want to go to Yale? I remember one of the questions they asked you is what, what do you uh, wish you were better at being or doing? Um, so questions like that, and different schools had different things. I know another university had their essay prompt was just find X, and they just left it at that and let you be creative. So a lot of schools have different ways of uh, getting a sense of you and trying to really distill your character and what type of person you are.